Hi. It's great to see so many of you here from across the industry today. I hope you're having a really great time. I'm Jenny, and I am passionate about pulses. If you don't know what pulses are, they are grain legumes like lentils, chickpeas, and faba beans. They are sustainable, high in protein, and they are super healthy. We should all be eating more of them. Food waste and kids' lunch snacks are another two issues that I am concerned about as a food scientist. Let me ask you a question. Why are we throwing away good, nutritious food and feeding kids bad food? I'm going to tell you a little bit more about these three problems and how that led me to innovate. Problem number one, none of us eat enough pulses, so you better all get to work on that. Australia exports 90% of the pulses that we grow. Despite that, we are still a very tiny player in the global market. That means we are price takers. We have no control and we are subject to price fluctuations. In comparison, India is a big player. They grow a lot of pulses and they can't keep up with the consumption of their, of their population. So they import a lot of pulses as well. And India is one of our major buyers. They have recently imposed a tariff of 60% on all the pulses that they innovate. That means that Australia now pays a 60% tax on pulses that we send to India. And that's a big hit to our farmers' back pockets. So how are we going to reduce our reliance on those exports? Now, problem number two is what Ed was talking about earlier, food waste. We all know it's a huge problem here in Australia and globally. If I'm a vegetable farmer, part of my crop will look like this. It'll be too small, too big, the wrong shape, or it'll just be plain ugly and I can't sell it. So I feed it to stock or it's left to rot. As much as 40% of Australian fruit and vegetables is rejected and never makes it to the supermarket. We need to find a use for this nutritional resource. Yes, I'm a scientist, but I'm also a mum. And I know how hard it can be to get your kids to eat their vegetables. I struggle to find healthy lunchbox snacks that my kids will actually eat. And I know I'm not alone. Have a look at these recent headlines that were in the media. As a busy parent, packaged foods are amazing. They are so convenient for lunch boxes. I can keep them in the pantry for weeks. They don't require any food prep. They don't go off. And best of all, the kids can pack it themselves. But I can't find many healthy options out there. And the healthy options that I can find don't taste all that great. Why can't healthy be tasty? So I pulled my team together. They're experts in pulses and food science. And we decided that we had a solution that could make a difference to all three problems. Our solution was to develop snacks that used pulses and ugly vegetables, and these snacks would be tasty and healthy. So we set to work, introducing hidden treasures. We now have three prototypes, a biscuit, a baby rusk, and a cracker. All of our products are vegan, allergy-friendly, have healthy star ratings between four and five. They meet the healthy school canteen guidelines, which are going to be mandated next year. And they count towards your daily recommended servings of vegetables and legumes. And best of all, kids love them. And I've got proof. 
We went to a school and we fed them our biscuits and we asked for feedback. How many days a week do you want this in your lunchbox? And 96% said they wanted it in their lunchbox. 96%. Convenience, health and taste can coexist. And by the way, they taste good with a cuppa too. Hidden treasures are a range of convenient, allergy-friendly, healthy snacks, and kids love them. We want to get these products out to market. For the benefit of kids' health, parents' sanity, and to support our Aussie farmers. So if you are an investor, a manufacturer, or a food distributor, please come and have a chat with me. We are also interested in anyone else who wants to try to get pulses into the food system, into food products, research around pulses. We've got that expertise. Come and see me. I'll be in the exhibition area after the session. Thank you very much.